we are here with a first impression video on four products from Mally, and this is her limited edition spring collection called Mallywood. This collection has, I believe, four products. It is exclusive to Ulta, but we are going to try it on together. Obviously, I'm in the future now. I already tried the products on my face, but if you want to see what it was like in the past, then please keep watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with eyes first. For eyes, you guys know I'm a little bit of a beast with my application, so I'm going to um, apply some extra powder. My under eye area, it totally looks like I bake, but it's like, I'm actually pacifying myself. It's like, this is like baby proofing my face. <laughs> So I don't mess everything else up. I already have my foundation and my brows done. So I just want to make sure that if I'm a little bit of a beast mode with my powder, that I'm not going to ruin everything else that I already worked hard for. So the Mally Mallywood palette looks like this. How cute is the packaging? When you open it up, you're going to have um, eight different eyeshadows and they're a combination of shimmer, glitter, and matte. Shimmer, glitter, shimmer, glitter, and matte. Uh, pops of color inspired by spring adds a subtle dimension to the lids with a velvety smooth formula that glides on and wears all day. These are perfois combination of matte and shimmer. You can create endless looks. So I'm just gonna use whatever's in here without reaching for anything else. Um, I will take this shimmery shade right there and I think that's gonna be my, um, my brow bone. It's a little shimmery, but you know what? YOLO, right? It's pretty subtle in a really beautiful kind of way. Look at that. This is probably one of those colors that I don't want to go ham sandwich on. So someone said the other day that they hate when I say ham sandwich because it makes them hungry. <laughs> I was like, me too, girl, me too. That's probably why I say it. I'm always thinking about food, I swear. Okay, so there we go. That's really pretty. I'm totally gonna use that as my highlighter for the face too. Actually, there is a highlighter palette. Dang it, I wonder if it's the same. You know how sometimes they do that? Mm-hmm, I know what you're doing, Mally. I'll see what you're doing. Okay, then we are going to do um, our transition shade and my brushes are dirty, so we're gonna do our best to uh, clean this off a bit here. Um, let's take the color Flirty. That's that color right there, this one gonna be our transition shade. It's like a mauvey rose, maybe, sort of, a little bit. You never know with colors. You know how sometimes they look a certain way in the pan and then you put them on and you're like, wait a second. Wait a minute, I got hosed. So far so good. My favorite Mally products have always been her volumizing mascara and then uh, her blush and highlighter duos are really, really cool. I love when she reformulated them because before they were a little hard since they're baked, they were a little hard. So you had to get through like a makeup scab almost. Um, but now they're just so luxurious and just super buttery. Kind of like these shadows. Okay, then on the, let's get a smaller blending brush. We got a smaller one. I'll we'll clean it up in my little brush cleaner. And we're gonna take the color Iconic. That's this shade right there and that's gonna go in the crease. And this is also a color that I use as a like gentle um, contour powder. It's perfect for that. So take the color Iconic, that's that shade right there, and you're just gonna focus that right on the crease. I bet you guys are all hoping that I use the shade Loving, that's this color right here. But I think I want it to be, I don't know if I want it to be very light, you see it's like kind of foamy, it's like spongy. I don't know if I just want it to be a light wash of that color or I wanna layer it over passionate. That's that like really deep burgundy. So like apply the burgundy first and then apply passionate on top, I'm sorry, loving on top. And then it's like a darker molten shade. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me show you what it would be, like what the difference would be. It's a subtle difference, but you could tell the one that's just um, loving is that bottom. And then over here, it would look more like, like that, just a little darker. I think I'm just gonna go in straight with loving with no base color. Why bother with the extra step? As long as it's glowy, right? Okay, so take loving. I'm pushing it on my middle finger and then I'm gonna pump it onto 
my lid. It looks more like a metallic peach on the lid once you apply it. And I'm so glad I did the extra powder um, because I feel the little flecks falling down. I think I'm being a little too aggressive. That's for you. <laughs> so do the same thing on the other lid. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the same shades that we've been using. First Flirty on the same big blending brush and go over one more time on both sides. Make sure it's even. Then go in again with the smaller blending brush and the shade Iconic. That's gonna go on the actual crease. Then we're gonna go in with Kind. That's this color right there. Just a pop of it on the blending brush. And we're gonna focus that on the edge. Same on the other side. So we're just kinda bumping the color in so we get an even deposit and then we can blend a little bit. We just want to focus it on the outer edge or the outer V to kind of enhance the shape of your eyes, make them a little more sultry. For good measure, I always take my giant brush, whatever I use for my transition color, and I always run that over everything. It's kind of like when I go in uh, with my big powder brush after I do bronzer and uh, blush and stuff like that. Same thing. Take a powder brush and take off the excess powder. And then we'll do the lower lash line. And I don't think I want to do anything crazy on the lower lash line. I do, however, have to figure out this blush palette because I don't know if it's gonna match my eyes. So for the lower lash line, we're not gonna do anything too involved. I think I'm just gonna go in with um, the shade Iconic. That's that shade right there. And a flat shader brush. And we'll run that on the lower lash line. I like this color so much because it's the perfect transition shade. It can also be used as a contour powder or a really, really gentle bronzer if you don't have like a super heavy hand, AKA not me. Um, and um, so depending on how much or how little or how heavy of a hand or how light of a hand you have, the um, shade is very um, complex. So it can be a really gradual transition shade or if you push it in, it could be a really dark brown. It's really, really cool. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Mali um, Smoky Mama Mascara. I think this is different from the Volumizing one, which is one of my favorite mascaras ever. Um, so the wand looks a little different. You can see that. Um, it's very dark. Super rich. You can see one stroke and how black my lashes look already. That's crazy. I have to say, Mali has really great mascaras. Super, super great. The only problem I had with my volumizing mascaras, which is why I actually stopped buying them, um, was all the product after a few uses would start coming out of the top of the container. I don't know if it's because there was too much product in the actual um, dispenser um, or, or what it was, but all of the product would just start coming out of it and it was so yucky. It would get so like just messy and gross. So I'd get frustrated because it would get dry and crusty and I'm like, oh, no way. No thanks. This one is really good. I already know I'm going to like this. I wonder if it's limited edition though. Sometimes with um, limited edition collections, the only thing that's limited edition is the actual packaging. So um, this might be one of those scenarios where she did special packaging for the mascara, but it's actually one of her permanent products. So if it is, I will leave a little note for you guys in the description box below. Um, I know you guys see all the mascara on my eyelid right now. Don't worry. Just let it dry and then with the dry q-tip you just wipe it right off and uh, it doesn't ruin your eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm such a klutz with mascara. Like I, I make a mess with it. You just leave it alone, let it dry um, and then take a dry q-tip and it comes right off and it doesn't take off your eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my mascara off camera and then I'll be right back to show you guys how the final lashes look. All right, so lashes all done. Smoky Mama Mascara. What do we think? Do we like it? Can you even tell? By doing this like super amazingly talented eye expression. Can you see my eyelashes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to face, we're going to take a little domed brush and that same eyeshadow palette, but, 
and we are going to take the color Iconic. But we have to be super careful because this color is very, very, like I said, it is the best color, but it's also the worst because if you are beast mode status, you might use a little bit too much. So the lightest hand, do you see that? It is unforgiving if you don't have a light hand. Top of your ear, hollows of your cheekbone, bring it down like that. Go again a little bit more on this side. Uh, self-control, Danny, self-control. Now we're gonna do the blush, and the blush is a very curious creature, you guys. The blush is actually called a highlighting blush. And on the back it says, swirl brush all over shades to pick up a perfect mix of colors. Dust the blush onto the apples of your cheeks and top of the cheekbone and blend upwards in a swirling motion. Obviously I'm not gonna do that because I can't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's easy to pretend to do it. To actually do it, it's a different story. So this is the blush compact, how pretty is that? When you open it up, well bam! Four blush colors, two highlighter shades. So, um, it's a pe it's like a flat brush, so swirling is a little a little bit of a tricky beast. But we're gonna do it. All right, let's see. Oh, that is pretty. I kind of went a little ham sandwich on that, but all right. We'll we'll go back <laughs> we'll go back and forth until it's evenly deposited back and forth between between cheek edge it's definitely a highlighting blush I'm surprised it's not it's not a lot more intense in like the pigment because that's a lot of pink in here um so I thought it was going to be very what's the word I thought it was going to be very pink and not as highlighty but I feel like it's more highlighter than than blush Huh, look at that. That's definitely an interesting product. I wouldn't pick this up for myself for sure. Um, and I don't think it's a very warm, complexion friendly product. I think this would be bomb and amazing on someone with a cool complexion. But on warm complexion or someone with like golden, brassy ish hair like mine, it's, uh, it's not, mm, it's not the most flattering. I'm gonna try and warm it up with a little bit of this pink blush right here. Let's see if I can actually concentrate the shade. Let's move on from that and we'll do the what's up, what's up, what's up. <laughs> Highlighting palette. <laughs> it has a cream a highlight and then two powder highlights. Um, let's see which one of these would be better. They're both really pretty They're right there. I'm not doing the cream one because I already set with powder, but um, I think I'm gonna go in with the darker shade just because um, it'll match my eyeshadow a little bit better. So take a smaller brush. Obviously the first place you do highlighter is always the tip of your nose. <laughs> Tops of your cheekbones, bring it up to your temples. What do we think? What do we think of all the Mally stuff? Actually, let me do my lip color. It's not gonna be a Mally lip color, but let me do my lips, and then we'll come back and do final thoughts on the Mally collection. All right, our face is complete. So let's talk about these products, do a little recap about them, and I'll let you know which ones are my favorites, which ones you could probably pass on, and uh, my final thoughts. It's not the outro yet. It's not. Do you wanna say hi? Okay, ready? So for those of you unfamiliar, this is Sophia. And Sophia is notorious for appearing in my intros or my outros. For some reason, I don't know if the octaves in my voice change or if there's like a special word that I say because she runs over here and she will just sit here and stare at the monitor. <laughs> I think she's obsessed with herself. I wonder where she gets it. <laughs> Okay, so a little recap. Um, the first product that we used was the eyeshadow palette, and that is the eyeshadow palette, Mallywood eyeshadow palette. It comes with eight different shades like this. I would say if anything of this collection that you wanted to try, if, if there was one thing in this collection that you wanted to try, it would be the eyeshadow palette. I love that it's sleek. I love that it's compact. The packaging is adorable, but the eyeshadows in here are 
brilliant. So you are able to create really beautiful looks with not necessarily all my matte eyeshadows. So this might take away that fear um, that you have of creating eyeshadow looks with not just matte eyeshadows. Um, so you have these six smaller shades here and then these two big colors. Now, these are supposed to be eyeshadows, right? But this is a highlighter and that's a contour powder. So this is kind of one of those palettes that you could take with you on a weekend getaway and you're all set. So this for me is a big, big thumbs up. Then we have the Mally Highlighting Blush. For me, this is a big, big flop. I think it's a flop because of my hair color. Uh, my hair color right now is very warm. It's a little brassy. My skin tone is tan. So it just looks... I, I, don't think it suits my complexion. I don't think it suits my undertones. So this is a perfect product for someone with cool undertones or even someone with like a light or fair complexion. So the concept is brilliant because you swirl the products together and you get this beautiful illuminating blush. But on someone like me that has golden undertones right now with a tan, um, it just, it doesn't really suit me at all. It does nothing for my complexion. So. There's that one. Then we have the What's Up, What's Up Ombre Highlighting Trio. This product has a cream highlighter and two highlighters, a lighter, a lighter one and then a darker one. These two highlighters are cool because they're dark enough to be dark enough, but they're light enough to be light enough. And they're different enough to actually look like two different highlighters. That's a hard concept to achieve or a hard highlighter to produce. Usually with highlighters, they're either too cool, they're too warm, they're too similar, they're too dark, they're too light, and so they're very exclusive to specific people. These are light enough, but they're dark enough, and they're different enough or contrasting enough where they look like two different shades, so I'm a big fan. With the cream highlighter, it's cool because it's subtle, it has a little bit of sparkle in it, and I think this would be one of those products that would be cool to have either to layer or on days where you don't wanna do um, a full foundation face and you want that dewy, glowy look, very natural. It's gonna allow you to do that. And then the last product um, that I have was the Smoky Mama Mascara. This is a really good mascara for those of you that want really dark, bold, black lashes. You can see right now, I did not want to use eyeliner purposely so you could just see the mascara itself. It is a mascara that is very thick and very volumizing, but it also takes a long time to dry. So if you don't have the patience to sit between coats to layer it, it's gonna frustrate you. I love the wand. The wand is so user-friendly. It's one of those wands that's gonna really brush out your lashes, make them long, but also build up the volume. So the wand is brilliant, the formula is brilliant, but it does take a little bit of time to set. So if you're someone that gets ready in a hurry in the morning, that mascara is not gonna be your friend. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this first impression on the Mally Mallywood collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, it is exclusive to Ulta, so I will leave uh, these products listed and linked in the description box below, along with the other stuff that's on my face that is not from Mally, um, like my foundation, my lip color, all of that stuff will be listed in the description box below. Uh, let me know which one of these four products is your favorite, and uh, I think that's it. Y'all know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye guys